Howdy! Welcome to Crockpot Tuesday. Today I'm making a special recipe. I was thinking last night, what can I make? I didn't know what to make. So I looked in my freezer, looked in my fridge, and thought, hmm, let's make something different in the crock pot. Let's make something with corn. So today I'm making a sweet heat corn using the ingredients I had in my freezer and using leftovers from Thanksgiving. So first things first, I got myself a bag of these green giant niblets, corn niblets, and they're frozen. So I'm just going to throw that right in the crock pot, the whole entire bag, right in the crock pot. You can use canned corn, corn can, whatever canned corn, yeah, canned corn. But I'm using frozen. This is a lot more in a bag. Now, of course, this is a concoction. This is something I'm putting together. I see in the recipe for cream corn, it's very basic. Cream cheese, butter, evaporated milk. But I'm adding some goodness to that. Some sweet heat. So in a small pot on low, I'm going to add some Philadelphia jalapeno cream cheese. I'm going to use the whole container. Get that magic spoon out. Whole entire container. Don't be cheap. And don't use any of that low fat kind of thing or... You know, go full fat. Full fat cream cheese. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to add a whole can of evaporated milk. Actually, half a can of evaporated milk. The rest of that can, I'm going to use it for my coffee. Then you're going to stir that. On low, maybe number number three, number four. Then I'm gonna cut me up some butter. I'm just gonna use as much butter as I want, so. Oh. I'd say that's about two tablespoons. We'll add a little bit more than that. There we go. If you like it buttery, you add more. If you add less, that's fine too. But I'm adding, I'd say about three tablespoons of butter. All right. We're going to mix that up. All nice. That butter's a little cold because it was in the fridge. So... Gotta let that melt. As for the rest of that evaporated milk, I put it in the jar. And I use it for coffee. I use it when I make my creamer. So that's gonna go in the fridge. And it's not going to waste. Now here's the natty concoction part. When I was thinking of what to make and how to make it, I was thinking peaches and cream, peaches and cream. Well, why not put peaches in there? So I bought myself a can of sliced peaches in a can, but I, I bought it in water, not in syrup, because the syrup will make it too sweet. So I'm just going to take about half that can because I don't want too much peach. Then I cut them really small. About niblet size. And I'm going to add it to the crock pot. And that's what's going to bring in the sweet. Most times when you make cream, uh, cream corn, they ask for sugar. I'm not adding sugar to this recipe. I'm adding peaches instead. Very small pieces of peaches. And 
There we go. Let's add that to the crock pot. Now, isn't that different? That's a concoction right there. You know what? I'm going to add the whole can. There's only a couple left in there. Mmm. I'm going to add a little bit of the juice, too. I have a little bit left at the bottom. There we go. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I have ham left over from Thanksgiving. We just had our Thanksgiving dinner. And I made a nice big spiral ham. And I had lots left. Kind of sick of eating ham. So, I'm going to cut them up. And I'm going to add it to the crock pot. Look at that nice piece. Mm -mm -mm. Just cut it into a little bite size. It's already pre-cooked. It's all leftovers. It's got a nice smoked hickory flavor to it. So it's going to taste delicious in my crock pot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Hooey! This is going to be a mighty fine dinner. Something totally different. Something I've never made before. Just was sitting there going, what can I make? What can I incorporate to make it different? Well, I'm incorporating it with peaches, ham, and jalapeno cheese. So, different than most recipes. Sweet heat. Cream corn. There we go. Let's put all that pork in there. Oh, look at all that beautiful ham. Still have quite a bit left. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. Could keep the rest for a sandwich or something for tomorrow. Today. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> making some corn, making some corn, making some corn for you. Making some corn, making some corn, some green, green corn for you. Sweet heat, king, sweet heat, green corn. Sweet heat, green corn. Sweet heat, green corn. Making some corn for you. Make it some corn for you. Just want it not too big. All right. Let's put this in the crock pot now. Sweet corn for you. Make it some sweet corn for you. Right. My sauce is nice and ready. It's incorporated all together. So I'm just going to put it in here, right on top of it all. Then we're going to sing our beautiful song. Oh, Magic Spoon. After we put the Monterey Jack. So I have some Monterey Jack here. Just going to grate it on top. Shred it on top. A little bit more moderate jack. Okay, that's good enough. And that's it! Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. It's gonna be delicious.
it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. Yeah. All right. That's it. So I'm putting it in there for three hours on low because the only thing that needs to cook is the corn. It's only frozen, so three hours should do it. And there we go. Three hours later. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Mmm, look at that creamy corn. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let's get a zoom in on, on that. Let's get a zoom on that. Nice cream corn. Sweet heat cream corn. Well, it's time to taste this sweet heat cream corn. Let's try it. Oops, three. Cheese. Monterey Jack. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. I could eat it alone, or I could put this as a side with a nice pork chop. Or any meat that you like. But there's meat in here. So. There's meat in here. There's ham. Spiral ham. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's good with the peach. Give is gives it that extra sweet heat. Jalapeno. Mm. Mm. It's cheesy. Got a little bit of heat. It's got the sweet. It's got the corny. Mmm. Mm. This was supposed to be a taste test. I want to keep this for dinner. I think I'm gonna eat dinner early. Mm. <laughs> well, that's my cream corn. My sweet heat cream corn. Turned out pretty good. So another concoction. And another Crock-Pot Tuesday under my belt. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And be sure to leave a comment below. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.